Today on Delta Tested, we'll take a look at a product with an awful lot of buzz around it in the waterfowling world right now, and that is Boss Shot Shells, specifically uh, a product that's come to be known as the Boss Shorty. And as the name implies, uh, it is a two and three quarter inch shell. And you can see that compared to a three and a half, it is indeed a shorty. But there's actually some real advantages to this load. Uh, I tested it out on some mallards the other day, and what I first noticed was how gentle the recoil is. It's a very comfortable shell to shoot. And I had a lot of places that are in uh, ear range of breakfast tables. And additionally, this load is a lot more quiet than a lot of the three inch shells that I typically shoot. Uh, within the shell, it's one and a quarter ounces of number five copper plated bismuth. Uh, bismuth, of course, is much denser than steel. And by copper plating it, what Boss has done is uh, protect the notoriously brittle bismuth shot. And that ensures you're not going to have flyers uh, getting crumpled at, at setback within the uh, chamber. Uh, the patterns I've gotten with these shells have been terrific. Uh, good pattern density is considered 70% of your pellets within a 30 inch circle at your desired over the rain, over the decoys distance. And at 20 yards, which I, I mostly shot that close just to assess point of aim, which was dead on, uh, as expected, 100% pattern density at, at 20 yards. At 30, a whopping 95% pattern density. And at 40, with a full choke, because that's another advantage of bismuth, you can shoot a full choke with this shot, uh, pattern density remained 75%. The other thing about these shells is you would think that a two and three quarter inch shell would disadvantage you, but think about this. A typical three inch shell with one and a quarter ounces of shot, uh, number fours, that would contain 240 uh, steel pellets approximately. With number two shot, you're talking back down to about 155 steel pellets. These shells, though smaller, contain uh, 246 number five pellets, which have you know, comparable density to a number three steel. The other unique thing about Boss Shot Shells is they're shipped directly from the manufacturing facility in Michigan uh, to the consumer, which cuts out that middleman distributor cost. Uh, and that really lowers the price. Uh, for instance, my test load, if you buy it by the case, 200 shells, it's about $1.28 per trigger squeeze. That is very competitive with uh, premium steel and greatly surpasses uh, the affordability of most alternatives to steel. Though Boss does offer three inch shells in 12 gauge as well as 20 gauge, plus options for you 16 and 28 gauge fans, the two and three quarter inch shorter remains the company's most popular. And after my test, I can, I can really see why. I knew that it patterned well. I knew it was comfortable to shoot. Uh, and then how I, when I saw it perform on mallards was when I was really truly sold. Uh, I've shot a couple mallards with it. I have friends who have, I've given some of the, the shells to, to see how they liked it. They also shot mallards. Uh, we took one Pennsylvania canvas back. Penetration on that sample size, though somewhat small, was, was excellent. Uh, these, these shells really wallop them. And that has to do with that pattern density we discussed, as well as the dense bismuth shot. Plus, Boss is pushing these shells in a two and three quarter inch load to 1350 feet per second, which when you combine bismuth with that kind of muzzle velocity, there's going to be some great retained downrange energy. And Overall, if I were to summarize the Boss Shot Shells, I'd tell you they're light on your shoulder, they're light on your ears, and they kill ducks. <laughs>